As we come to the last month in the year, it looks like I've made about $1.5 million this year in real estate. Join me on today's video for an inside peek in my bank account and learn my secret to how I made over a million dollars in real estate this year and why it doesn't matter. Coming up. For a limited time, you can get a free copy of Jerry Norton's Quick Start Kit with everything you need to flip your first house in 30 days or less. Download it now at myquickstartkit.com. If you're new here to this channel, I'm Jerry Norton with FlippingMastery.com, and this channel is all about ways to help you make money wholesaling and flipping real estate so you can live your dream life. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss new videos. So this year in real estate, I'm on track to make about $1.5 million. And to be clear, that's not gross revenue. That's my net taxable income after all of my expenses and business write-offs. In other words, that's my take-home pay for the year. And if you wanna know how I did it, just watch all 425 videos here on the channel and you'll have a pretty good idea. Just kidding. No, not really. Actually, I share with you the number one secret on this video, so keep watching. Just for fun, if you take a quick look here at one of my accounts, I currently have a balance as of this recording of just over a million dollars. And that's just this one account. So some would consider this to be a lot of cash. Now, it's actually not very smart to have that much sitting in a checking account, but keep watching and I'll explain why I'm sitting on a million dollars cash. But I remember in the not too distant past when I would have never imagined making that much money in a single year. When I got started in real estate 15 years ago, I was earning minimum wage, living paycheck to paycheck, barely scraping by. If you can relate, I want this video to be an inspiration for you. In a minute, I'll share with you the number one thing I've done to earn a seven figure income. But first, let me share with you a quick story because I wanna make sure that I put things in the proper perspective. The other day, I took the day off to go skiing with my 16-year-old son, and we got to talking about my work and how the year was going, and I showed him my $1 million balance in my bank account. Now, keep in mind, he's a 16-year-old. He loves skiing. He just worked and saved and bought himself a new pair of ski goggles and a new pair of ski pants that he paid for with his own money. After seeing my bank account of a million dollars, he said, Dad, I can't even fathom how much money that is. And here's what I told him and the reason why I showed him my bank account. I looked him in the eye and I said, Nathan, I feel extremely blessed financially. God has blessed me with abundance and I'm truly grateful. But I want you to know something that's very important. Nothing in this life is more important to me than your mom and you kids. I told him I wouldn't trade my relationship with my savior and my family for all of the money in the world. You see, I wanna teach my kids that money is very important in the areas in which it matters, and it's also very unimportant in the areas in which it doesn't matter. I want you to know that true success in life is a balance between your spirituality, your relationships, your emotional and physical health. If you neglect those areas in pursuit of financial gain only, then you may earn a lot of money. Maybe you have a big bank account and all outward appearances, you may seem successful. But what we're all ultimately looking for in this life is peace and happiness and money alone can't buy that. So in the big scheme of things, my bank account is meaningless. Now I've had to learn this the hard way. I haven't always been very balanced. For many years, I put way too much emphasis on making money in my life. I tied my self-worth to my net worth, and as a result, I've neglected my spirituality and I took in for granted my beautiful wife and my amazing kids. I've lost sight of what's really important, but fortunately, God has blessed me with awareness. With His help, I've come to realize what really matters. Once you come to understand that you have infinite worth in the sight of God, your motives change, your purpose changes. Money is simply a tool to be used for good or bad. Each of us gets to decide. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm all about making money, but my goal is to make more money while working less. That way, while my wealth grows, I have even more time to do the other things that matter even more. That, to me, is real success. Okay, so here's where I wanted to go with this video. Here's the secret to earning over a million dollars a year. It may be different for everyone, but for me, the secret to earning $1.5 million in a single year is to stop focusing on making money and instead focus on providing value. I believe if you sincerely and genuinely make your top priority in your real estate business to increase the value you bring to those you associate with, 
then the money will naturally follow. Since this channel is all about wholesaling and flipping houses, let me share some examples, but this really applies to any industry. It's the mindset or the intention around providing more value that I want you to grasp and understand. If you're a wholesaler, how can you help more distressed sellers? Aside from helping a distressed seller with their unwanted property, what other ways can you help that person in need? Could you provide a packing and moving service? Could you help them find a new place to move to? What can you do to make this hard transition in their life less difficult? As a wholesaler, aside from bringing good deals to your cash buyers, what other ways can you bring them value? How can you help them be even more successful flipping the houses you bring them? Could you find and offer them funding, contractors, real estate agents? The more value you bring them, the more they will like you and trust you and wanna do business with you. When fixing and flipping, what can I do to provide a buyer the best home for the price or the best purchasing experience? Never forget, you get paid in direct proportion to the value you bring to the marketplace. Want to make more money? Provide more value. That has been my intention with my wholesaling and house flipping deal management system called Flipster. Now, I first launched Flipster to the public in 2014. Since then, my team and I have worked tirelessly to make it better and better. And all of this year, we've been working tirelessly on our biggest upgrade of all, which is being released in a few weeks. If you've never heard of Flipster, it's an all-inclusive cloud-based deal management system to help you organize, streamline, and automate all of the steps to wholesaling and flipping houses. And my big vision for Flipster is that inside the platform under one roof, it has everything you need to run your entire wholesaling and house flipping business. This next version includes ringless voicemail, SMS texting, skip tracing, several new motivated seller lead types, a robust comping tool, and much more. And as soon as we launch this version, we'll immediately start working on the next version. By the way, to check out Flipster and see it in action, just go to getflipster.com. My point is this, the more I focus on providing value by making it better and better, the more people want it and use it and make money with it. And as a natural result, the more people become subscribers and the more money I make. On my YouTube channel, the more I focus on providing excellent content that helps people get started or do deals or grow their real estate business, the more the channel grows and the more people sign up for my training and coaching programs. Here's the big takeaway. As you look at your real estate investing, stop focusing on making money, and instead focus on providing value. And my promise to you is the money will follow. That is the most important thing that's allowed me to earn a seven figure income. Okay, now earlier I showed that I have over a million dollars in cash sitting in a checking account, which on one hand isn't very smart since it's earning like 0.1% interest. My tax advisor recommends I reinvest the cash in high depreciating passive income producing assets that will lower my taxable income. In other words, instead of paying the IRS over 300,000 in taxes, use that same cash to buy assets and write off the depreciation, lowering my taxable income and lowering my taxes. Now, I wish I had more time to explain that one, but here's the reason why as of now, I haven't reinvested that cash yet. There are two reasons. Reason number one is I'm working with a bank that has committed to give me several million dollars in funding for deals next year at 5% interest if I can show them a seven figure income on my tax return. So strategically, it's better to show the higher income and pay the taxes so that I can qualify for more financing, which will allow me to make more money doing deals in years to come. It's a short term loss for a long term win. And the second reason is my long term passive income investing strategy is different than what most people do. In fact, I did a video where I break down what I do instead of investing in rental properties. You'll be stunned at how much better and more lucrative this strategy is. Now I'll put a link to that video in the description box below and you can watch it later. Thanks for joining me on this video and in the spirit of providing value, I have dozens of free resources to help you do your first or next deal. If you go to the description box below, you'll see dozens of links to some of my best resources, all for free. And if I can make over a million dollars a year in real estate, trust me, you can too. Keep your eye on the price, don't lose sight of what really matters and know that God is ready and willing to bless you with abundance. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. If you agree, hit that like button and leave a comment and let me know your biggest takeaway you learned from this video. I'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel. With hundreds of videos on this channel and new videos released every single week, this is the fastest growing channel on YouTube for all things wholesaling and flipping. And don't forget, it's not about the money, it's about having the time and freedom to have, be, do, and give 
everything God has in store for you. That's what it's all about. And I'll see you on the next video.